talking about 25 things that you didn't know about me. So this can range from things that I've done in the past, which is like when I was a kid, um, to now, which is kind of interesting, very random, but I kind of wanted to try this challenge, see what I could come up with, and even surprise myself with. I didn't even know I did some of these things, and like, looking back, I'm like, wow, <laughs> I really changed, but, um, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I'm here to better everyone's lives, to make people feel, um, you know, uplifted, and to give a sense of hope and love. Stay tuned for some really great videos in the next couple months, so. Thanks guys! So back to number one, <laughs> I used to have really crooked teeth. I had like a crooked tooth in the front and then like the bottom, I still wear um, like a retainer. Fact number two, I was in the New York Macy's Day Parade when I was 10 years old with my friend Juliet. Number three, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. I always thought that was really cool. Number four, my birthday is January 7th. Uh, number five, I used to hate traveling, which is so crazy because that's all I want to do now. Um, but yeah, I used to be a home buddy. I really just didn't like being outside of my comfort zone, so I guess that kind of scared me and I just didn't see the value in like traveling to different places and things like that. I had a 20 year old hermit crab, so usually hermit crabs live literally like five years. I just like gave him peanut butter all the time and he was happy. Like that's all he needed in life. I went through a huge Lady Gaga stage. It was kind of bad, paws up, like the whole thing. Number eight, I was a ski instructor for three years. Believe it or not, I don't really care for the winter. I think it's really crummy. Um, I used to be obsessed <laughs> with Pixie Hollow, Animal Crossing, and Sims. Um, I had witchy acrylic nails for two years. Um, oh, I took uh, speech therapy when I was a kid. I was kind of insecure about that, um, which actually leads to the next one. I used to be super insecure, and that's just because I think I didn't know who I was. Uh, a lot of people don't know about like this negative slope that I went down like in seventh and eighth grade, and like I just didn't see any point in life and that's also why I'm trying to promote this YouTube channel so much to anyone who is trying to fulfill their life's purpose and really just get a sense of who they are and find the best version of yourself. So number 13, I, <laughs> okay so this is just like a general thing that I normally do and I think other people do as well. I cry every time I'm on vacation. Uh, number 14, I don't care too much about cars, like if it gets me to point A to point B, I'm happy. <laughs> I used to dream a lot of like weird, like scary scenarios where I was just like dying all the time. I do talk in my sleep. I am working on having patience. Yes, I think that is one of my weaknesses that people may or may not know about me. I, I just always want things as soon as I think of them. I never knew how to correctly hold a pencil, so growing up, I guess I was just like, why is there only one way to hold a pencil? Like, that's stupid. Like, I can write and hold it however I want. Those, those like, grippers. I never did it like this, or however it's supposed to be held. I hold it like, like that. I used to, um, put Vaseline on my, out I, <laughs> my eyelashes every night. Um, just because they that would help them grow. I meditate every morning and every night before I go to bed. Number 21, I absolutely love meeting new people. I think it's so amazing. Um, number 22, I collected rocks as a hobby as a kid and now I take a geology class. I've always been fascinated with like crystals and just kind of like healing mechanisms and stuff like that. I've never traveled outside of the country. I've always wanted to go to Barcelona. As a kid, I've always wanted to go to Australia because of the accent, g'day mate, and like, I just think it's cool. <laughs> I've always wanted to be on America's Next Top Model, not because to get like the exposure or anything, but just to see like Tyra Banks. Number 25, I'm sensitive and I really do care about people. I'm emotional, so if you feel something, I'm gonna feel it too. Um, it's not a bad thing, but if someone talks negatively about me, I let it go. But 
it, it's hard to not like interpret what they're feeling but that also comes from a place of insecurity from them so that's why I'm kind of striving to make this YouTube channel to help inspire to help grow and help everyone become the best versions of themselves so yeah that is my dream that is my goal give this a thumbs up let me know what you think uh, I post new videos every Wednesday and every Sunday, so turn on your post notifications and give me a subscribe. Alright, thanks guys. I'll see you next week.